New to Windows is the ability to import data from a picture in Excel. No more typing data manually into spreadsheets from reports. It works with image files or screen captures on your clipboard, but let me show you how it works. We'll look at two examples, one from a picture file and another from a screenshot. The picture file I have contains a fee statement. I've cropped the header and footer for confidentiality, but the data I want is here in this table. Let's close the image file down and then in Excel on the data tab, we go from picture, from picture file. And then I just navigate to the picture. There it is there and insert. And this opens the pane on the right hand side. It shows the progress and then the preview. Now we can left click and drag to move it out and you can resize it to make it easier to work with. The bottom half of the screen shows a preview of what Excel is going to do with the data and the cells that have the pink background are those that it thinks you need to review. And in the top half, we see the image. So I can click on review and it will take me through each cell. At the top, it's highlighted the word that it thinks there's a problem with and I can change that to correct the spelling. And then we can click the arrow to go to the next one. That looks correct. So we'll accept that. This one also looks correct. And I can quickly go through these because I know they're correct. I've done this before. This one's not correct. You can see below it's split the text. I'm going to fix that once I get into Excel. So we'll just accept those two. That one's correct, as is that one and that one and that one. That one's correct and so on. So I'm happy with all of these. This one's not correct. It's got a dot in the middle, so we'll correct that. And that's it. So let's close that. Now, if you want to change data in cells that aren't pink, you can just click in them. For example, here I can see there's a dot in front of the one. So let's just fix that and click accept. This also looks a bit strange. So let's fix that and click accept. And I'm happy with the data now. Let's go ahead and insert it. Now it's going to insert it starting in the cell that you had selected before you selected the file. So I'm going to insert data. It gives me a warning that I'm responsible for validating the accuracy. I'm happy with that. So let's go ahead and insert. And you can see the data. Now it's made the columns quite wide. So let's fix some of these up. This one here should be, this text should be in this cell with accommodation in front of it. And it's to 31st of May, 2020, which is actually in the cell below. So we'll fix that there. We'll get rid of this row and we'll get rid of that data. This column's now empty, so let's get rid of that. There's a little bit of work tidying up still. Let's cut these out and we'll move them across. We'll align everything to the right. And I'm pretty happy with that. So you can see there are still some bits to tidy up, but for the most part, it's correctly imported the data and it's a lot better than typing it in manually. All right, let's take a look at importing data from a screenshot. Here I've got a table of Liverpool Football Club's top scorers for last season, and I want to bring it into Excel. I could get this using Power Query, but Power Query can't scrape all web pages, as you may have found. Plus, I don't need a constant connection to this data because it's not going to change or need updating. Another option is to highlight the data and then Control C to copy, go into Excel and then paste. And it looks pretty good, except if we look at the name column, you can see it's repeated the surname for everyone, which is a little odd. We can obviously tidy that up, but let's take a look at importing the data from a picture. So I'm just going to undo that. We'll go back to the web page and this time I just want to grab a screenshot and I can do that in Windows holding down the Windows key and then Shift and S and then I can select the area I want to copy and that's copied it to my clipboard. Let's go into Excel and then Data from Picture, Picture from Clipboard. Again, it brings up the pane, it's analyzing the image and it's remembered the state of my data from picture pane, so it's not docked, it's enlarged and I can see it easily here. So you can see it's missed out some of the data, it's missed out the one. Now you can just see the box that's highlighting the cell that it's working with, but I can't see it properly. So sometimes if you just resize the window, it actually brings it into view and we can fix that. So I'll 
enter one in there. Let's have a look at that one. That looks fine. This one here, that should be 164, not 16.4. And are there any more? Divokarigi, that's spelt correctly. So we'll accept that. That's correct. As is that. As is that. And that one. And that one. So these will look pretty good. This is missing the one, so let's enter that. As is that one. Okay, we're all done. Let's go ahead and insert the data. Yes, I'm responsible for it. That's fine. Insert data. So you can see it's missed out a few pieces of information here and here, but we don't have the problem with the names. We've got column labels split over two rows, so we can tidy that up. But overall, it's pretty good, and I think you'll agree it's a lot better than copying and pasting. Now you can take screenshots of anything, including PDFs created from scanned documents. Just keep in mind that you can also use Power Query to get data from file from PDF, as long as that PDF wasn't scanned to create it. It was printed from Excel or Word or another program so that the tables are correctly structured inside the PDF, and that will allow Power Query to read it. Of course, if you have trouble using Power Query, then you've got this import data from the clipboard as a backup. Now this tool currently supports these language and character sets. I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more. And why not share it with your friends who might also find it useful. Thanks for watching.